Crazy Tech Dad here. Today I have a TTR 50. This is an electric start dirt bike made by Yamaha. And I'm going to show you how to access the battery to get it charged over the winter time or keep it on a trickle charger or to replace it if, if you need to. It's very easy to access this battery. In fact, the battery on this particular dirt bike is located right behind this cover. Um, I've removed the bolts already, but I'll show you where the bolts are at. There's two bolts down here, one here and one here, on the underside of the fender. These are 10 millimeter bolts, and it just takes an easy ratchet to remove them. These have a 10 millimeter um, deep well socket, and you can reach in there quite easily. Once those are removed, this will allow you to remove this entire unit. You just kind of remove it like this, take it off, and then you'll have access to this cover. Now this cover is held on by two screws. I went ahead and removed one and I've got the other one loosened up. Just remove the screw. These are just Phillips head screws and they are also uh, 10 millimeter bolts as well. So you can use your same deep well socket on these to get these removed. Once this cover is removed, you'll have access to the battery. That Yamaha has done one more. And I went ahead and removed this strap. But this strap is, is uh, fastened up underneath the battery onto the frame and all you need to do is just stretch out the strap a little bit and then you can pull it off from underneath the frame and then you can remove the battery. The battery itself is uh, connected to the electronic um, system, electrical system through the dirt bike with this clip here. To get this off all you need to do is push down on this metal tab and when you push down on this it'll release it from the battery holder and you'll be able to pull it straight off. Let me go ahead and show you that now. Pushing down on it. And I got it to come off. Here is the battery for the TTR50. It has two terminals on, this, on the front side of it. Your positive and your negative. And you can attach a trickle charger to these terminals um, with, it's going to be fairly easy, um, with some spade adapters. If you don't have a spade adapter, they can make them fairly easy. And then also on this um, clip, there is a 10 millimeter, or I'm sorry, a 10 amp fuse. And you just want to check this fuse out when you're replacing your battery. And it is, uh, I don't know if you can see it there or not, but it is a good fuse. Yamaha also puts in a, a backup fuse on the battery itself. In case you guys are out riding and you can't start it, there's a backup fuse there. So that's how you access the battery on a Yamaha TTR50. It's fairly simple. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any comments, leave them below.